Alright, what's going on guys? The Cobb is here, and I want to get this video out there just to help some people understand map control on this map. Because a lot of people that I be gaming with, and a lot of people that I run into, have a habit of bitching and complaining about not being able to beat the enemy when they're clearly running out here or spawning out here and standing on this and capturing this this is what we call the letter B it the letter B can spell can start spelling the word banana benign bitch which is what you're called when you step on this and capture this because that's why there's a letter B here it's called the bitch flag and if you capture this you are now the bitch of the game mode so how do you prevent yourself from becoming the bitch of the game mode well it's very very simple very easy to understand very very you don't even need to be a rocket science scientist to understand this so what you're gonna want to do is it doesn't matter if it's the alpha or the champion flags do you want to be the alpha of the game or do you want to be the champion of the game or do you want to be the alpha champion or do you want to be a champion of alphas? Either or is good. Nobody wants to be the bitch. Stop being the bitch. Stop being the bitch. So what you guys want to do is when you spawn up either back here or you end up spawning up over here, right on this little, this little, little spot right here, you're going to want to immediately head over here and take this flag, right? Look at that. It says capturing at the bottom of the screen. What are those numbers building up? It's like 70s, 80s, 90s. <gasps> Wait, what's that about my super bar? Zone C captured? <gasps> I now have a spawn location, like a designated one. <gasps> That's amazing. We're learning things. Now, this is what's going to happen. Now that you have a designated like spawn location for the map, because that's what happens when you capture a flag. You now have a designated spawn point instead of having a sporadic spawn point. What's a sporadic spawn point, you may ask? Well, you little bitch noobs, let me inform you on the wonderful, the wonderful coding that we call spawn locations and spawn points and um, respawn points. So this is coming from a guy who's played a fuck ton of Call of Duty. I understand what this is. This game has implemented it as well into its game. And it's basically practically the same goddamn fucking thing. So what this means is now that you own this, you are going to spawn somewheres on this side of the map. Either out there in that blue deathly trapness of death. Um, somewheres right there where we just spawned in. Or somewheres back here. Or you could just spawn in over here somewheres. So, that's what happens when you capture a flag. It's wonderful. It's very helpful. It's really great. Now, what happens when you capture one of these flags, you may ask, on Burnout? Well, you see, if you go all the way through here, pick some people off, let them come through, you know? Pick them all out, and then check over here, pick them out. Check over here, pick them out. Make sure there's no one else over here, pick them out. Once when you wipe the whole enemy team out from inside this good area that you want to maintain and hold, this wonderful safe zone, your wonderful holy grail of a location of spawn points, you are going to want to run over here and slide into the DMs like so, like so. And at the bottom of your screen, you'll see the words capturing again. Now, if you understand what memory, how memory works, you will see that... <gasps> you just captured two zones! Now you're definitely spawning back here, because why? Well, now you own half the map. Now the map, instead of splitting you into one-third of the map for spawn points, you now are splitting the map in half down the middle, like so. Straight down the middle like this beam of light. Now this beam of light can act as the barrier of spawn locations. If you own Champion and Alpha, you will spawn on this side of the line. 
if you own the bitch flag and become a bitch gamer, you will spawn on this side of the line. Except you won't spawn in here. You will spawn out here, in the trapped emptiness void of nothingness, where the bitch gamers spawn. And only the bitch gamers spawn out here and allow themselves to spawn out here. Why do I call them the bitch gamers? Because you only own one, sp one flag. Now, I want you to understand how easy it is to run in between A and C. So you can understand why I call people who capture that flag the bitch gamer. Now, say you spawn right here, right? You respawn in between these two flags. <gasps> oh my god, look how close that C flag is to my spawn point. It's so wonderful. So easy to get to. <gasps> I got another flag right here. <gasps> They're so close together, I can easily just hop over the DMs, run over here and be like, oh, you're in my area, pop, 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 pop. Oh, but wait, what if you want it to be a little easier? What if you want to sit right here and be like, oh, peek a little out, peek out, peek out, be like, pop, pop. Pop, they're dead, ooh. Or you want to be a sniper and you want to be like, ooh, crouch, boom, headshot, and then just slide over here, and then take control of the middle, and just be like, yo, I'm gonna pop up here, maybe throw some grenades, pop down here, get some health. They don't know if you're up or down. And then, oh, ooh, you're, now you're over here, but you're in between both flags. What if there's an enemy on there? Oh, you're just pop popping them off, and then you're just cleared. Oh, no, there's an enemy right here. Oh, you're just popping them off, clearing them off, and you're just killing them when they try to come in here. Oh, no, there's another enemy. Oh, you got a full view, damn. Look how easy I'm covering the C flags and the A flags. Oh, my God, I know how to read, and I know my alphabet. That's wonderful. I know my spawn locations. Now... Say you spawn out here, I want you to take in, like breathe this in, on how far away these fucking flags are from you. Yeah, yeah. Now I want you, I want you to understand how you are royally fucked if you take that flag right there, the one that my red dot is on, the one that looks like a letter B, the one that says capture, middle yard. You don't want the bitch flag. You don't want that. You want the hall in the library. You want to spawn over there. You want to walk your way through your hall to the library to get some knowledge on how to fucking map control, you bitch ass fucking gamers. Like, I'm sorry, like you think that you're better than other people. You think that you're better than other fucking gamers. You think you're cracked. But when you capture this fucking flag, you are proving to everybody that you are a royal dumbass and you don't know how to fucking do map control. Say you are spawning out here, right? And you're like, but what if we don't cap- what if we lose our two flags? Well, listen you little dumb fuck, if you don't capture this, this is not designating your spawn point. Which means if you don't capture this, and they e and the enemy captures that flag and that flag, you can spawn anywhere on this fucking map, even in their spawn location, and pop yourself closer to these fucking flags while they're killing you. So don't fucking take that flag if you don't want to get your ass kicked. It's that simple. Stop! Like seriously, fucking stop grabbing that damn flag! That's the sole reason why I keep leaving this fucking map every time I see a bitch ass fucking gamer take that that's on my team. Oh my god, so many people complain about getting spawn trapped, so many people complain about getting their ass whooped. STOP TAKING THE FLAG!